there is a warning this afternoon that if you're feeling the sniffles, it may not be the full-blown flu. Our Collin County reporter, Catherine Ross, is live in Plano with the health alert. Catherine? Well, this pharmacy is still stocked up with Tamiflu in the back, but it is the over-the-counter stuff that is flying off the shelves. That's because right now, cold and flu season is starting to overlap with a bad allergy season. Now, the flu is still raging, and doctors want to be clear on that. And they say there's still plenty of need for you to get your flu shot. But after holiday get-togethers with families, plenty of people are coming down with the common cold, too. And this week, the forecast is high for juniper, so you can expect to deal with allergies like good old Texas ragweed or even cedar fever. Yeah, most people think it's the flu and that's what they're really worried about. Uh, but sometimes it can be just simple allergies. You know, uh, allergic rhinitis can uh, present like the flu. It actually can cause fever. You can have uh, cough, sore throat, runny nose. And after a really nasty flu season, doctors we talked to today actually have some good news about the flu. And we'll get into that more coming up at 5 o'clock. For now, we're live in Plano. I'm Catherine Ross, NBC5. All right, Catherine, thank you. It is a busy day for North Texas doctors with the new year bringing in new patients. But this season, the cause of your sniffles isn't necessarily the full-blown flu. NBC5's Colin County reporter Catherine Ross is live in Plano with more. Catherine. Well, Bianca, there's a sort of post-holiday rush going on right now at your local pharmacy or even your doctor's office, and a lot of people are going for the over-the-counter remedies because this time of year, especially early on when you have a flu or a cold or even allergies, it's hard to distinguish what you have. And of course, those allergies, we can warn you, will be coming on strong once again. One big problem this time of year is cedar fever, which comes from juniper or mountain cedar. It's common in Austin, but we sure get it here, too. Here's the good news. Several doctors we talked to today tell us they're cautiously optimistic because numbers show the flu may have peaked right around Christmas. But they're keeping Tamiflu in stock just in case we see another rash of full waiting rooms and people feeling miserable. So right now the biggest trend is going to be distinguishing between a cold and the flu. And that's the most common complaint and that could be uh, the common cold which is adenovirus, it could be the flu, influenza, or it could be run-of-the-mill uh, sinus allergies, allergic rhinitis. And it is difficult to distinguish your own symptoms so it's a good idea to see your doctor. Of course doctors telling us today the best line of defense for you still is to get that flu shot. For now we're live in Plano. I'm Katherine Ross. NBC5. Catherine, thanks. Well, you've heard it for weeks now. North Texans are packing doctor's offices worried about the flu. But your stuffy head may be something entirely different. NBC5's Collin County report. Catherine Ross has more on this winter allergy season that is now in full bloom. The path to the influenza test cabinet. It's been well traveled this year. It seems like everyone's had the flu. At Texas Star Pharmacy in Plano, there's a healthy supply of Tamiflu, too. Right now we're seeing a lot of the flu. It's been a heavy flu season, waiting rooms full of miserable symptoms. Cough, sore throat, um, maybe a subjective fever. But what's in the air today, it might be different. The biggest trend is going to be distinguishing between a cold and the flu. Yeah, most people think it's the flu and that's what they're really worried about. Uh, but sometimes it can be just simple allergies. There's always good old Texas ragweed. But this weekend, count on juniper that can bring out cedar fever allergies, common in Austin. And while the flu may have peaked in the season of sinus pressure, doctors still say it's not too late to protect yourself against the worst. More of the story, if you haven't gotten your flu shot, that's the best thing you can do. The Catherine Ross, NBC5. And pollen counts are expected to increase from today into tomorrow with that increase of winds that Andy just talked about.